these two works of mine in this section, La Toilette, are quite recent. And the curator, Kathleen, has pointed out that this is a real um, art historical subject. It, it's appeared over centuries, uh, the intimate, behind-the-scenes view of usually the female figure getting ready to face her day. I've always been obsessed by hair, and even more so the combing of hair. Um, and this is a very particular little 1950s uh, dressing table, which I'm sure people of a certain age will recognize. Three folding, folding mirrors, two, two sides folding in and one on the background. So you get this claustrophobic view, which I think is in a way part of what happens when you're getting ready to face the day, you're getting dressed, you know, various garments, trying them on, getting in a tiz maybe, what you're going to look like. And that is, isn't the greatest experience. It's kind of claustrophobic. And I think that's what I really love about this picture. She's not vain. She's combing her hair. She's maybe the challenges of the day ahead. And... Um, I think at its best, my work can be joyful, but it can also have a darkness to it. So light and shade is very important to me. And this is a similar, but slightly more joyful, Two Sisters, based on my assistant, Julia, and her sister, Therese. Um, during lockdown, I asked them to send me some photographs of them, um, combing hair, and they sent me some things that I could work from. The hand mirror has always been really important, and you'll see if you walk around the exhibition that I've used it in self-portraits as well. I think this is, really is the hand mirror that was on my grandma's dressing table when I was a kid. And this fantastic William Rothenstein from 1924, just gorgeous, completely gorgeous. Um, you know, gorgeous colour, quite meaty handling, and a beautiful, subtle reflection in the corner. So the three female heads. And I think in terms of the color, the color sits really beautifully with my work. I'm very honored. <laughs>